Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Unlock Your Learning. Friends, in this video, we are going to solve Worksheet 20, Subject Science, Class 6. Here, you need to write your name and here your class teacher's name, date 14 September 2021, okay? So, topic of this worksheet is going to be, uh, going to be electric fuse, okay? So, today we are going to study about electric fuse okay so let us start seeing what is this electric fuse so now there are some uh, text written here so let us see fuse when a large amount of electricity passes through a fuse it gets burned and breaks and thus stops the flow of that excess current in the electrical circuit okay thus excess current will not reach up to the electrical equipments like fan tv washing machine and these will be safe from excess electric current. The fuse wire is made up of a very thin metallic wire and acts as a safety device for electrical equipment for excess currents. Okay. So friends, what is a fuse? So when a, a large amount of electricity that passes through this, this is called a fuse. When the large amount of electricity passes through a fuse, a fuse cannot handle that much of electricity. So then it breaks down and burns. Okay, and then it stops the flow of that current through that wire and that is why it that will save like it will save and will not reach up to the electrical things like the fan, the uh, fridge, the TVs and the washing machines and they will be safe from this much amount of electric current because that can be dangerous for the electric appliances even and that is why you can say the fuse wire is used before the wire in the wire so that it does not harm the electric appliances when there is a lot of electric current passing through it and its wire is a very thin metallic wire that is like an, a safety device for the electrical equipment from a lot of current or you can say excess currents okay so that is why it is used so that that the electrical appliances can be saved from the excess current okay then what do we have here let us see the below pictures of two bulbs and try to find out which of the given bulb is fused and why. Now, you can see this is the picture given to us over here of these two bulbs. You can see over here, let us come down. So, you can see these are the two bulbs given to us in this photo and it is asking us that which bulb is fused and why. Now, you see this is one bulb, okay, and this is the other bulb. Now you see here, what you can see is that you can see this wire of fuse, this wire here and this wire here. Now in bulb A, this wire is broken and in bulb B, the wire is uh, connected and it is still there. Okay, so when does the wire get broken? When there is excess current, uh, excess current passing through the wire. Now when you see here in this bulb A, the wire is, get, is broken, that means the excess current has passed through this wire. But in bulb B, the wire is not broken and disconnected. That means it is still not fused and excess current has not passed through this. And in this one, it has. That means this bulb A is fused. Okay. Now, let us read the answer given here. So, this is in this picture, bulb A is fused because of its filament. Because its filament is broken. As you can see, this much part is the filament as I told you. And that wire of the fuse is broken. So, its filament is broken which results in the break in the path of the current between the terminals. So, it will not reach the terminals, the positive and the negative terminals if it is fused over here in this one. You can see then thus bulb A does not light up as no current passes through its filament. Okay. Then, let's come down and let's see what is given to us. Now, here is some hint given to us. So, what is this? Any bulb become fused whenever its metallic filament made up of tungsten metal get burned or broken due to excess current, uh, excess electrical current and thus no electric current can pass through between its two terminals. So that will stop the bulb to glow and give the light. Okay. Then do you know air is a bad conductor of electricity? Okay. So, you need to keep in mind, air is a bad conductor of electricity. If air were the good conductor of electricity, electricity could reach the bulb without wiring and 
the bulb could uh, could uh, light without the wires so then there was no use of wires in using because if electricity was a good conductor then it can reach the bulb without it the wires even moreover the electricity running through this wire can scatter all around this and that can be dangerous for us so also because if it scatters in the air then it can uh, be dangerous for us human beings even then we have some questions question one is match the following so a1 switch now you see a1 switch i have matched it with six one you can see a here that is it either breaks or completes okay then b filament so b is glows when electricity electricity passes in it okay then what do we have here insulator so insulator is does not allow electricity to pass through it and then battery so battery you can see d it is a combination of cells then conductor it glows when electricity electricity sorry conductor is allows electricity to pass through it and then cell so cell you see f1 that is a device which converts electric uh, which converts chemical energy into electricity okay then draw the symbols of the following so first one is cell so here you can see this is the symbol of a cell then battery so this is a symbol of a battery then bulb this is the symbol of the bulb and switch on is this symbol and switch off is this symbol and friends our worksheet is over and oh, i hope you enjoyed the video also don't forget to like the video and if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then stay home stay safe wear a mask Maintain social distancing and take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.